すべての邪悪流の頂点に立つ俺様の真の姿Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So I'm finally getting around to this. Um, I, this feels, the GT bosses theme and all these characters just fill me with rage, man. It's just so, I, I, I mean, you know, again, we all have things that piss us off, right, with the game, stuff like that. I, I think that like, like, number one, GT bosses, I mean, I'll, I'll just, you know, like, just go to hell, okay? Like, it's time for the GT category. And with 200% leader skills being a thing, it's very easy for them to, you know, drop, like, a new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then, you know, he g gives 170% to the GT category, and then 170% to, like, Transformation Boost, and then the, the extra 30% could be, like, GT Hero or something like that, right? Like, with... 200% leader skills, the way they're structured, you could very easily now just create a GT category, right? Or like a Dragon Ball Z category. Like, they could do stuff like that. Um, and then the other categories could still have a purpose with the way 200% leader skills are structured, right? Easily. This character, this is just an abomination. This this pisses me off. Uh, this hits uh, several different things that Dokkan does that really annoy the shit out of me. Number one... Number one, I hate Battlefield LRs, World Tournament LRs, all this stuff. I, like, these characters will come out and people will go crazy for them. Bro, I I mean, we're, they're stuck at 55% for months. We will be able to rainbow this character in, in like, 2026. Or, or, well, no, like, 2020. Like, it's going to be like January, excuse me, January of 2025. It's going to be like January of 2025. February of 2025. It is when we're actually going to be able to rainbow this character. Like, do, do you think that this character will be competitive in 2025? Because I don't. I, no way, man. Uh, so we got him at link level 10. Uh, I grinded him up and stuff like that. I, I mean, we could talk about it. Uh, if you're, if you're going to make a character like this, I mean, number one, they have good animations. Why give them an intro if you're not going to voice it? I hate that. Why put the dev time on this character? This character's animations look good. All of them look good. Why? This is not a character anyone's going to use. They're restricted to these, like, terrible teams. I, like, I... I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Let, let's just... I'm, I'm already blabbering away a lot. Let's just run through the first turn, um, and then we'll go over what they do. Oh, I didn't look at their links. What, I mean, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about everything they do in a second. But I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just sad. Uh, like, like th this, this GT Frieza and Cell is worthless. I mean, they easily number one. If you're gonna restrict them to like these really bad teams, you gotta make them busted as hell, dude. Like, we need, they need to be crazy, and they're not. Okay, well, all right. So now we're gonna get supered. So, oh my God, we, but we, we, we we're. Okay, the dodge, the dodge, the dodge. I was going to say, all right, how much damage are we taking here? We're in the anniversary event, by the way. Uh, we're, we're fighting the, the gods um, anniversary event. Now, remember, um, they dodge that super attack. That's not like, you know, oh, there there I go with my hidden potential system shenanigans again or anything like that. Uh, that's their built-in dodge because, again, they're 55%. Uh, the way I like to do 55% videos, as you guys can see, um, is I, I don't give them equips, right? Um, well, I, this is a, a Link level 10, because, uh, you know, it's a, like a new Dokkan Fest comes out, or a new LR comes out, or something like that, and it's like, you know, like, I, we gotta get the content train moving. I don't have time to just kind of, like, Link level and stuff like that. For, for this type of character, like, yeah, like, absolutely, right? Um, Alright, so, let's, let's take a look at what they're doing. I expected them to do an additional super on that last turn, but I got that mixed up in order to... Okay. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Uh, in order to do the additional super, they need an enemy to be stunned or sealed. I, God, I hate I hate the way they're set up. Uh, okay, so here's our link set. Brutal Beatdown, Shocking Speed, GT, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, Otherworld Warriors, Legendary Power. I mean, you know, honestly, the link set is pretty good. I mean, Brutal Beatdown, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, Fear, and Faith. Those are very common villain links. Even Legendary Power. I mean, you know, you're going to have LRs. Um, obviously, I mean, Otherworld Warriors is going to be pretty worthless, but it's not the biggest deal, right? Like, just one shit link on them. 
and the rest is at least like capable stuff. I, I mean, I, I will say it's good, but you know what hurts is, I mean, can I can, can you guys give me one second to just point this out? Uh, what is the category that we're on right here? GT bosses, GT boss. Uh, what link don't they have? Do you guys have it on the tip of your tongue? The answer, of course is the only the greatest link in the game, Big Bad Bosses. Um, obviously, that would be a significant help uh, for GT Cell and Freeze to actually have that. Uh, in terms of their super attack effects, seems pretty good. Um, they're getting 30% attack and defense, colossal damage, and a high chance to stun on their 12 key. That's good. 18 key gives them 50% attack and defense, mega colossal damage to the enemy, and then they give extreme class allies 30% attack for two turns. Um, so they are supporting, right, for multiple turns with that, which is good. Uh, then, in terms of the, the passive, uh, so they have their intro, and from that they get 5 key, 40% attack and defense, and a 30% chance to dodge for 6 turns if they're sworn enemy, revenge, or GT bosses. Uh, which, you know, fine, whatever. Um, then they get 3 key, 140% attack and defense at the start of turn. You know, I, I'm just like blabbering away. Let's just pop the active skill. Why not? Let's just... Let's just do this. We'll, you know, we'll, I'm just I'm intercutting footage and then me blabbering away. All right, so that was the Hell Bust, Hell's Buster right there. Um, they could do the Hell's Buster. Either on turn four, if there is a Goku, or on turn six, just conditionless. Um, <clears throat> and it greatly raises attack and then seals. But here's the thing. Okay, so we got the seal right there. They have the stun on their 12 key. They're this type of character, but, like, I don't... Like, I, this is a character that I guess is just designed to help for Super Battle Road. <coughs> or maybe Battlefield. Like, it's gotta be, right? Um... Then they get the, the three key 140% attack and even start a turn. They get the 70% attack and defense when they attack. All right, so they get the 70% attack and defense when attacking. Uh, then they give sworn enemy revenge and GT bosses category allies. Uh, they give them two key and 30% defense. Now, why do they not give attack right there? I, I don't get. Like, yeah, I get that we give attack on the 18 key super attack effect and stuff like that. Like, yeah, dude, that's that's super duper swell. But why not get number one the, this this support? Like, just two key and 30 percent defense. That's not good enough. This is what they did with the Gohan, the STR uh, armor Gohan that came out with super trunks. Key and defense. That's good. Key is good. Defense is good. But you know what's really good? Key attack and defense. I, I want all three. And it should be three key, 50% attack and defense that Cell and Freeze are given here. Not two key and 30% defense. Uh, they have a high chance to crit if there's a Goku around, which is fine, sure. Um, then this right here. See, this is this is just ridiculous. They get a 20% chance to dodge. And then they're super effective against all types if the enemy is stunned or sealed. So that gets them to 50% chance to dodge. But why why is it a 50% chance to dodge only if the enemy is stunned or sealed? That's just terrible design because why does it matter so much to get that defensive utility when the boss is already locked down? Like it's it's terrible design. That is bad design. Remember, there's a difference between a character like not being good and having bad design. I would probably lean towards Dark King Fu. He has a bad design, but he's good. He's, he's still like a good character, right? Like there's a difference between being poorly designed or having a great design and then, you know, being poorly, you know, being good, being bad. Like you could have a great design and be bad. You could have a poor design and be good, right? Like these things are possible. I, like, I just don't like this. Like this is, it, it, this is, this is trash, right? Now I get it's a free to play LR, but like, it's an LR. Like, we can make free-to-play LRs good, man. It's okay. Like, it's it's not going to break the balance of the game. Especially when we're running GT bosses here. Um, and then down here, they get another 20% chance to dodge and an additional super if the enemy is in attack down or defensive down. But it's just like all these bullshit-ass... Actually, 
No, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset this turn. Uh, just I, I should be. Uh, this is a, a a bit of a well for GT boss is definitely a real fight. But I should make sure that Omega and Baby have Big Bad Bosses activated. So I'll, I'll come right back in a second here. All right, here, let, let's... Uh, right, right, right. We did the active. We just go ahead and throw it out real quick again. Uh, there's that uh, damage again. Remember, we're only 55%, unfortunately. Uh, well, actually, we could probably... Nah, okay, okay. Th th there's no extra links from Baby right there. All right, let's just go ahead and hit this. We'll be able to get our 24 key all the way up. Uh, we do want to make sure to get some Rainbow Orbs for Omega at least a little bit. And Baby should be competitive uh, against the, the the Goku and Vegeta at the end right there. All right, so let's see. So we got up to just 5 million. Nothing really too crazy. I mean, I the thing is, we could go. I could go into um, like another event where we could stun or seal or debuff or anything. We eat this one. Okay. Let's see how much damage we take, and then I can tell you guys how hard this boss hits. Uh, I, I actually did not, I, I, I swear I did not expect that. So I, I put them in slot one because I wanted big bad bosses on, um, baby in slot three. And, uh, we actually just got blown away. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, w at least, I mean, at least when I'm like ranting about how much I don't like their design and I don't think they're very good, at least then they get blown, they got blown straight into hell. So it's like, yeah, I mean, you know, you guys, you guys can see. All right, now let's just quickly... I mean, here, I might as well just show this on screen while I pull it up. All right, let's take a look at how much damage the gods did right there. So, that was that was them right here. 980 plus the 30% right there. Like, like, do you get it? Like, that did 800k damage to us, so... Uh, yeah, they're pretty bad. I mean, we saw their intro. We saw their active. I guess, to be fair, I mean, I don't really need to show too much. Um, I mean, we could... I, I guess I'll go back in, and, I mean, we could at least maybe see them do, like, a double super or something. But, like, they're not really going to be too good. And, I mean, that's kind of the problem is, like, we're using a 55% LR. I mean, that's not... I mean, you know, cool. Sure. All righty, guys. We're back in an event. We could turn the audio on. I'm a silly Billy right there. All right, so uh, we're just in one of these events right here. I mean, you know, we already went into, a, like, a reasonable event, and we got one shot of blown away, right? Like, sorry, they suck. I don't, people are going to be mad at me. Oh, my God, I thought they looked good. You're being so rude to them. Yeah, uh, okay, sorry. Yeah, they suck. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's just see what we can do right here. So, remember, there's a lot of different abilities that they get based on the enemy being debuffed and stuff like that. Um, we'll be able to hit this Zamasu with all this. Like, they'll be super effective against all types. Um, you know, they'll be able to get, like, additionals and stuff like that as we apply these debuffs. But, I mean, I I don't know, man. I, I just... It, this unit does not look crazy to me. Uh, the animations look so good. Like, these are, like... Like, this could be a summonable LR. Am I crazy? Or could this not be a summonable LR with the level of their animations? Like, and, and I, like, I think Dokkan... Like, they're so stupid... They're so dumb, they're so idiotic, they're so moronic to give these incredible looking animations, these very smooth, very pretty looking animations to this character that's going to get no play. I I, I think it, it it is much better when this is on like a summonable character. Like, sure, at free-to-play LR, we want to give them good animations, but at least make them good, man. I, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, like, I, I look at this... GT Cell and Frieza, and to me, it feels like everything that is wrong with Dokkan right now is kind of, like, encapsulated in this this Battlefield LR, right? Like, they keep trying to push, like, the GT bosses team on us. That shit ain't happening, right? Like, I think an overall GT team could, right? Like, that, that could work, because that GT link is very strong. Two key, 10% attack and defense. You've got a whole team with that, that, again, that's that's pretty good. Like, we could do something with that. Um, so, I don't know. All right, here, let, let's just go ahead and uh, get this uh, going right here against this Zamasu. Um, I mean, he's debuffed to hell, so we're going to... All, all of our abilities are able to be used right here. We could use everything, right? We could, you know, they're going to be super effective against all types. They're going to get the additional super. They're going to have the whole nine yards going. We get them in slot one, we'll super attack. They'll give a... I guess... It is important to mention that they are giving the two-turn attack buff, so even on the next rotation, they're giving a little bit of damage, but I'm sorry. I, I just... 
I don't see this as a very competent or capable character, right? Like, 55% Frieza and Cell, uh, they ain't doing really too much. All right, we got the Hidden Potential System additional. That's that's just the free five additional that they've got right there. Okay, that's perfect that we get to see that. We're also going to kill... Looks like we're going to kill Zamasu. It's pretty easy to kill Zamasu if you have him stunned, because uh, he can't heal, right? Remember, he, he actually, like, literally takes the action and heals, right? Um, there's other immortal bosses, like the Broly is immortal uh, in the Bro like the Super Saiyan 3 Broly event. I've done countless showcases in there. Did we kill him? I think he is. That Yeah, we killed Zamasu. All right, why don't we just go ahead and throw out Omega's active right here? We'll be able to get his KO screen, I think. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and, and kind of like look at the details for GT, Frieza, and Cell. So let me know what you guys think of them. Again, I mean, we're not able to rainbow them for like a year. It's going to be a year before we can rainbow them. I just, I, like free-to-play LRs, I mean, they got to be able to be rainbow day one always. No matter what, you got to be able to rainbow them day one to make them competitive. I mean, free-to-play characters are just not as good as summonable characters. Why further make them worse by making it like you know, literally impossible to get their dupes for a long time. It makes no sense. It's stupid. It's foolish. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at what the GT Cell and Frieza have got going on for us here. Um, all right, so this right here, this is Grudge swirling in the depths of hell. Cell, perfect form GT, and Frieza, final form GT. So they lead the sworn enemy uh, leader or category, and they give it three key and 130% to stats. 12 key super attack is the Hell's Surprise, which gets 30% attack and defense. They do colossal damage to the enemy, and then they have a high chance to stun. Uh, 18 key super is the Hell's Combination, which gives them 50% attack and defense. Meg colossal damage to the enemy, and then extreme class allies get 30% attack for two turns. I mean, that's good. I often have complained in the past about um, characters have this type of ability, and then it's only for one turn. So to see it be for two turns is very good, actually. Um, I just wish that they were a little bit more usable, right? Uh, their passive skill, Power Gained in Hell. They activate their entrance animation, and they get five key 40% attack and defense and a 30% chance to dodge for six turns from the start of turn if there's another Sworn Enemy, Revenge, or GT Boss category ally in the team. So for sure, uh, they do have to have um, the whatchamacallit. Like, like... That dodge is imperative to this character actually being decent. So, you know, you are looking at that six-turn window. So this is certainly a character who you don't want to probably think about them fighting Omega, but maybe more so like, you know, Dismal Future type fights or Battlefield, Super Auto Road, stuff like that, right? Uh, they get the three key, 140% of stats at the start of turn. They get 70% attack and defense when attacking. They give Sworn Enemies, Revenge, or GT Boss category allies two key 30% defense. Again, I think that that should be buffed to three key 50% attack and defense. Uh, then they have a high chance to crit against Goku. Uh, then they get a 20% chance to dodge, and they become super effective against all types if the enemy is stunned or sealed. And then they get a 20% chance to dodge an additional super attack if the enemy is in attack down or defensive down status. They have the active skill Hell's Buster, which greatly raises attack temporarily, does ultimate damage, and then seals the enemy super. And then we can do that from turn four if there's a Goku enemy, or just from turn six uh, with no other conditions. Link set, pretty good actually. Brutal Beatdown, Shocking Speed, GT, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, Other World Warriors, Legendary Power. If Other World Warriors was Big Bad Bosses and said, it would be a perfect Link set. Like, it would be really good. Uh, even, even still, on villain teams, like, you're going to be able to get a lot of those activated. So, I, I like, Link set is a strength for this character, for sure. Uh, 12 key multiplier, 150%. 24 key multiplier is 200%. Um, and then, I mean, they are on some categories here that certainly could use help. the help, but... I mean, they are a bit restricted. As a free-to-play character, I don't mind the restrictions, but, I mean, they're just not good enough regardless. So here, this, of course, is the Sworn Enemy category, which pretty much all, like, Cell and Frieza characters are on, right? 
Uh, they're also over on the Transformation Boost category team, uh, which has been getting some some stronger characters this year for sure. A lot of Dokkan Fests and LRs and stuff like that are on this uh, category. Uh, they're also on the Joined Forces category team as well. Sure, sure. Uh, then they're here on the Target Goku category team. Uh, wow, this is... They they have not been getting very many options lately, huh? But, I mean, we, we do have Piccolo Jr. on there, I guess. Uh, then they're also over here on the Otherworld Warrior category team. This, of course, is a team that does not get buffs very often. There's still so many different characters that could be added to this category, though. Just numerous characters could be added to it eventually. Uh, they're also on the Revenge category. A bit of a wonky category, but any characters we can get here is good, I guess. Uh, and then finally, they're on GT Boss. The GT Bosses category team. So, let me know what you guys think of the GT Cell as well as the GT Frieza. Um, I am not a fan of this character by any means. Um, but, I mean, you guys can let me know what you think. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.